Okay, I wanted to show you guys our puffball mushrooms. And this one here, I found one the same size as this about, what, Bill, three weeks ago? Maybe, maybe yeah, about three weeks ago. He has a smaller one. They're varying sizes. This, These are actually quite large. This and this are the same things. This is what happens when a puffball mushroom matures and goes to sporing. And this started to, to mature in my house. So I threw it out over the balcony. And this has been laying outside for about a week now. And it's busted open on the top. And it'll start throwing spores out. Um, this is what happens naturally. So if they would not have picked this when this hole, it'll bust open. And it'll throw out its spores. It turns brown and yellowy and rottenny. Um, so they found this, and we want to. We're gonna play with it a little bit. I think they want to kick it around and bust it open, don't you? I want to. I want to kick it. Yeah. Hold on, Cooper. You can kick the pieces that are left from it. <laughs> Very powdery. Very powdery. All right, bring me a piece, bud, so we can look at it. Is a stink. All right, this reminds me, I kid you not, this feels like insulation in a house. That one that he is holding is extremely heavy. And I weighed the that one, which was this one, um, about three weeks ago, and it weighed seven and a quarter pounds. That one did. But now that this one has matured and dried out, it literally feels like insulation from your house. It stinks. It's brown. And look, when I shake it, can you see the spores coming off of it? Yeah. And this is feel, feels plasticky. So this is what happens to a puffball after they've matured. Bye. Say bye. This is what it looks like compared to my head. Not much difference. <laughs>